Hi, today I introduce ISO 8583 info on site financial message parsing tools. On site services allow you to parse your financial messages. We have several dialects of ISO 8583 and few messages uh, based on a different non ISO 8583 standards. A presented on site message parsing tools break down with generic data fields. Uh, of ISO 8583 and uh, add subfields definitions related to specifications. On site you can select with tools using the search with labelit. For example, you can select messages uh, and only base it on standard 1978. As an example, let's have a look to Hypercom POS device handler message specification. For this specification, we have two tools message, which is ISO 8583 message, and packet, which is the same message with added specific HPDH header. To parse the message, you need to submit the data into the text box and execute the process. In case message specification uses only ASCII characters, you can submit messages uh, data as string. If message contains uh, non ASCII characters or it's usually used binary online transferring messages you can submit it as a hexadecimal dump the parsed results always in same tree like style where you can expand and collapse details of subfields all messages based on ISO 8583 standard starts from message type identifier MTI field when bitmap one or several bitmaps. Bits selected in bitmap show the subfields used in the message. Message subfields sometimes named as data elements. In case of HPDH message specification, it uses only primary bitmap and can use up to 64 data elements. In fact, it's even less, as HPDH specification define only 35 data elements. So let's have a look to try HPDH message. As a quick test, you can just enter MTI and try is it the expected message format or not. You see, I entered four digits of MTI and it's uh, correctly detected as an authorization request. Here is example of network management request. You may see uh, this uh, hexadecimal dump parse it to MTI to primary bitmap where for data elements uh, selected and uh, you can see splitted message body to four data elements where PC is processing code STN it's a uh, <coughs> sequence number CATI it's terminal identifier. Uh, let's try to submit the packet, HPDH packet. If we submit it here, we will get some warnings and uh, actually here the data looks like broken because 
HPDH header uh, message uses five bytes of header and uh, the header data here recognized as MTI. Let's go to the packet parsing. Here is the similar tree-like structure. You may see the same HPDH message and uh, the five bytes of header with three sub elements. The same message example I tried before. I posted here. So header is extracted correctly and then message also parse it correctly. Detailization of sub elements depends from definition developed on our side. You can always request to do more detailed definition if it is available in specification. Uh, the common types and subfields uh, like uh, EMV chip data usually parse it as well in deep details. In case available tablet values, the parser lookup was uh, fields description and collect statistic. So here 23 tables use it and uh, all lookup fields presented and correct. So 23 from 23, 100 pass it. That's all for quick introduction of on-site ISO 2553 message parsing tools. They are almost similar. Try the best fits to your requirement. Subscribe for ISO 8583 info site membership and uh, contact support in case clarification.